Yeah, okay. Now, okay. now so we're like recording. Here we go. All right. This will be good. So we good ready to talk yeah. about the Did events? You think when you're Say, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get we this. We have cough buttons and off buttons. Um, I know, and we never push them. We never push them. It's ridiculous. Like and think I think I got it. I think I got it. We got. It's gonna be good. Okay, so for my families, this is fun. The Fiesta Bowl Parade is coming Saturday, December twenty eighth. Now, if you haven't been to Fiesta Bowl Parade, I went a couple of times. Um, last year I went, and the year before last, because I got to, to do some participation with it. So much fun. I mean, the community really comes out and supports this. And the kids are out there with their little homemade signs and their little banners, and people are cheering them on. It is so much fun. It goes down um, Central Avenue, just south of Bethany Home, 11 a.m., free event, Saturday, December 28th. So all you families, grab those kitties, put on you know, a warm little jacket, and just get out there and have some fun. Support the parade, because there's a lot of people, marching bands. Students work really hard all year to learn the, the, the music, and they're so happy just to, you know, showcase it. So it's a lot of fun. I like the Fiesta Bowl Parade. So, again, it's going to be Saturday, December 28th at 11 a.m. All right, for my couples, I have a fine day of art and celebration. This is something to look forward to in 2014, so mark your calendar. Saturday and Sunday, January 11th and 12th, is the Native American Fine Art Festival. Musicians, dancers, demonstrations from ma uh, master artists, they're actually going to have um, appraisals out there. So if you do have some fine art that you would like to get appraised, you can bring it on out there. They're going to have education um, presentations. And it's going to be over 100 different Southwest Native American artists on hand. So Wonderful. it's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be out at Litchfield Park, which is right there on West Wigwam Boulevard. So take a drive way out west, but it's so worth it. Again, mark your calendar Saturday and Sunday, January 11th and 12th. Okay, for my singles. I was looking for something fun and different. And then I came across this, and I thought, this sounds so cool. We're I love... Are we worried? We're worried when she says no, fun and different. No, no, no. This is going to be good. Because I love horses. So it's a free event. And I'm always looking out for you, trying to save you a little money, okay? This is free. The Arabian Horses Farm Tour. It's the seventh year they're doing this. It goes from December 28th through January 1st. It's in Scottsdale, and the best part is, is each day they um, introduce you to a different breed of the Arabian horses. And they have a showcase, and you can meet the trainers. You get to walk around. You get to get up close and personal with the horses, something that's really rare because a lot of times you don't get to do this. And you get to see them in their natural, you know, environment Are out we there. Are carrots? Well, maybe you can bring some apples, oh, carrots, I, I don't know, it. feed them, I it. don't know. You gotta turn your mic off. Other one. But it'll be good. Okay, it's a lot of fun. I said I doubt it. They probably have a fit if you fed those yeah. horses. They're very expensive. They're I'm just trying to stir it up. Particular, mm -hmm. you know, maybe sneak it in. Be bad. So it's a lot of fun. Again, mark your calendar for this one, um, December 28th through January 1st. It is in Scottsdale. If you'd like more information, you can go to ArabHorseFarmTour.com or you can call 480-440-7875. And let's spell out that website. It's A R A B Horse H O R S E Farm F A R M Tour T O U R dot com. My first piece of advice to that group is to get a shorter website. Yeah. My second piece, no, I'm kidding. You they never want to. So you never want to tick off a horse person. Mm -mm. No, they're a little aggressive, some of them, but then they're nice people too. Oh, wonderful. They are. All right. So for volunteers, this is the best thing to get out there and find out what's happening in your own backyard be a part of the community. This is really cool. I put a blast out on Facebook and I got such positive response. So I want to thank Yolanda who works out at the Genesis Care Home, which is in Maricopa. She said that they are always looking for volunteers to help out with the senior citizens. Oh, okay. Wouldn't that make a senior's day? You come out there, you spend time with them. They love to tell stories, show you pictures. And what they need is they just need volunteers to do this, just that, spend some time with them, you know, sharing some music, arts and crafts, maybe read to them. Some of them like to go for a walk around the facility. They just want you to come out and spend some time yeah. with them, brighten their day. So if you'd like to do that, they are in Maricopa. Um, it is 22509 North Celtic Lane, right there in Maricopa. Or you can call Yolanda. She is a manager over there at 520-582-6929. She's a really nice lady and very helpful. So get out in the community, have some fun, and just make it, you know, round out this year positive and go into the new year doing yes. something good, you know? We all need to be able to yeah, go it'll make be some fun. time. And yeah, it'll be fun, yeah. And Diva Danielle always makes time. And I've got to do that in 2014, too. Yeah, to, baby uh, steps. Baby volunteer, steps. Volunteer some time for sure. What, uh, any New Year's resolutions? You know, I try not to make resolutions because you disappoint yourself. So I just try to say I'm moving in a positive direction. Baby steps, maybe incorporate something little here and there or change it up, but don't hold myself to it because you don't want to be disappointed. So that's a positive. 
it's your Yeah. Baby. Don't be disappointed. Just do little baby steps here and there. Just, uh, yeah, don't don't set your sights high. No. Like, okay, I'm going to get up today. <laughs> yeah, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm surprised that came out of such a positive oh, person like funny. you. That was hilarious. Any new resolution? Yeah, you know, I, I want to start uh, playing tennis again. I used to play 